my friends. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to be making a snowflake. A snowflake, Miss Kirsten? Yes, a snowflake. We're gonna make a snowflake out of a piece of paper. So you're going to need a regular piece of paper, just like copy paper that we use, and you're going to need your scissors. But first things we have to do first, we need to fold the paper, and we need to cut, and then we're going to fold the paper again. We need to start with a square piece of paper or your snowflake isn't gonna look right. So to how am I gonna make my paper square? Hmm, well, this is a very, very good question. I'm gonna show you. You're gonna take this side, this side is going to line up to this side. When I roll it over, I'm taking and making a triangle. So look, at you don't want to go like that. See, that's not a triangle. We want to roll it right to that corner and line it up on this side. Okay. I'm going to roll it over. Hold it still. Don't let it move. You are all stronger than this paper. And then crease it with your finger. See, holding this still. Crease it with my finger. So I've made a triangle. Well, two triangles, when they're stuck together, are going to make a square. So when I folded this up, I actually did the first step of making a snowflake, which was to take a square and turn it into a triangle. So this stuff right here, all this stuff, don't want it. So very carefully, with your scissors, pointing away from you, thumb in a little round hole, two fingers in the other, hold it still, and cut as close as you can without cutting on this. And if you mess it up a little bit, that's okay, because this is the outside edge of our snowflake and it's not gonna stay straight, okay? This can be used on something else. Ding, or making tennis snowflakes, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So. If you already had a square piece of paper, I would tell you to turn it, make it look like a diamond, and then turn it into a triangle. You already have done the first step, which is to make the triangle. This line right here, I'll throw some math at you. Be careful, here comes the math. This line right here divides our shape down the center. And when the shape is the same on this side as it is on the other side, we say that that is symmetrical, okay? So this would be the line of symmetry. Ho oh, ho, line of symmetry. So this is very important because someday someone might ask, has, mm -hmm, that's right. Somebody might just ask you, is this shape symmetrical? And you will be able to say, if I fold it down the middle and it matches both sides, it is symmetrical, okay. So here's our triangle. Now, we're going to fold it again into a triangle. This was one. We're going to fold it again. If I fold it this way, does it make a triangle? No. So you know that's not the right way to do it. Turn it and then come across. Line your corners up. Use two hands. I'm going to pick it up and put these two corners together, but then I'm going to lay it down and hold it flat and move my hand back and then squish. Okay, use my thumbnail, use my pinky nail, whatever I have to do, increase it really good. So we have folded it twice. We folded it once, twice, and now we're gonna fold it again into a triangle. If I fold it like this, is it a triangle? No, it's not symmetrical, it doesn't become a triangle. I need to fold it this way so that both halves make a triangle, okay? So I'm gonna line these corners up again, hold them down, and then squish it back to make a triangle. All right, so how do I know I did it right? Well, when you look at it, there's one side that is just the fold, there's just one. This side, when I look at it, there's one, two, three. And that's how many times we folded the paper into a triangle. The other side, this is where you cut. That original part where you cut is right here. This is the outside 
of the square. I'm going to open it up and let you see that, but don't open yours. Leave it folded. Okay, there it is. See how all of these come out from the center? We call that radial symmetry. When radial symmetry means that there are like spokes on a wheel, everything is the same and it all comes from the center. Okay, all right. So that's very carefully, I'm gonna fold that back up. So there's my one fold, two fold, three fold, right? Okay, so. On the side that has one, just one, just one piece right there, I'm going to cut out easy shapes. Do this first. Do an easy shape one first so that if you get messed up, you don't feel like, I have wasted all this time making very complicated shapes. No. I'm even going to draw them on here. You don't have to. I'm going to draw some triangles. Okay. Don't let them touch leave a space in between and just make an easy one first see how there's a little spot in between don't cut off the end piece here but you could make a teeny tiny one a teeny tiny one all right so opening your scissors remember the sharpest part is way down inside here and i'm going to turn my paper at an angle so that i'm cutting up to it now I went just a little bit past, take my scissors out, turn my paper the other way, and come back at that. Now I have to hold it still because these scissors are not very sharp. When I get up there, doink, look it fell out. Now do the next one. And you're going to cut each shape out. And remember, turn your paper and cut up to that point. If you don't, here I'll show you. If you don't, you're gonna be turning your paper around and you're not gonna have a nice, neat cut. See, it's kind of roundy on the end here. It kind of tore up that edge. So it's easiest to make a nice, clean cut, come from the end up and then from the end up. From the folded part to the center of it. And it just pops out. You'll know you made it because it'll go poink and pop out. Up, but remember to cut from the center, center of your scissors, inside, don't do this. This is nothing, this is doing nothing. You gotta come up here. Then I come up here and it goes, doink. Uh-oh, didn't doink, there it goes. And look how cool these are. All these little shapes, look, diamonds. If you're doing yours out of uh, like fancy colored paper, these would be really cool to hang on to these to add them into another project. So hang on to those. All right, so that side is done. That was the side with the one fold. Here's the side with three. One, two, three. That's how you know you folded your paper three times. One, two, three. We're gonna cut the same kind of shapes on this side. And I'm just gonna draw them on here so you know this is where they're gonna go. And you can see I'm gonna leave a space in between, all right? This is just for visually so you can see it. Make them different sizes, you can make them skinny, don't matter. Don't take off the corner in the middle, okay? No corner, no middle, not yet. So I'm gonna cut up to it and then cut back up to it. Don't start in the middle and cut backwards. It should just pop out. If it doesn't just pop out, Cut just a little bit farther, see where you missed. So if you go to here and it doesn't come out, don't just pull. Come get your scissors and go a little bit farther and let it pop itself out. Then we have that nice clean cut like we want, okay? Uh, snowflakes are just crystals, right? And so they need to have those sharp edges. And even though ours are not going to look like real snowflakes, they're gonna be pretty darn cool. Okay. If you're cutting with me, you should be close. If you're not cutting with me, bear with me. I'm almost finished with the side. Oh my gosh, now this is taking so long. Please be patient. Patience is a virtue.
right there. Okay. Ta-da! All those cool shapes I'm going to save off to the side. Now, this is the center of that paper. The spokes from the radial symmetry came out from this point. This is the inside of the paper. This is where we originally cut it to make it square. So if I open it, it's going to be square on the outside. I don't want it square. I don't want it flat. I want it to have that snowflake kind of pointy kind of shapey kind of thing, right? We want it to be pointy like a snowflake. So on this side, we're going to take out a chunk of paper so that it can look more like a snowflake and not flat. So I'm going to start down here. I'm going to take out, I'm going to draw a piece that comes up and right back out. So this is the shape I'm going to take out and see all that straight edge is going to be gone. So I'm going to do it again here. I'm going to go past it so I can get that nice sharp cut. I need to sharpen these little scissors because I'm not very sharp. So my cuts are, it's hard to do. It's wanting to push the paper, not cut it. I'm working very, very hard. Now I can turn it and go down or I can come up from the bottom, but I'm going to line that back up again. See how it kind of, as I was cutting it, wanted to shift. So I'm going to line that back up again. And up to here, and it popped out. All right. Now, these are kind of cool shapes, but, you know, that decides, that's up to you whether you want to keep them or not. They don't open up into anything because it wasn't on a folded part. Okay, we'll move those out of the way. All right. All right. So this is the uh, moment we've been waiting for. Let's open it up. Oh. So here's the center. Remember, when I open it, if I can put a line down the middle and it's a mirror image right here to right here, that is symmetrical. So this shape right here is symmetrical right there. Now, if I open it up again, look, what? It's, it's symmetrical again. See, here's the point. Here's this, this, and the line of symmetry. Let's do it one more time because we're not finished yet very carefully. Oh, yeah. Now, see, we are symmetrical, but now we are also with that radial symmetry where it's starting to come out in spokes from the center of the shape. Ah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, remember, this extra piece, I love this, but we can make them fancier. But remember, I'm going to show you, this is not square. So I'm going to take this side, roll it over to that side so that I can make a square. And that's the first shape that I need. And we're going to cut that off. All that extra paper. Now I've got teeny tiny ones. There's my square. Turn it into a diamond. Fold it one time. Fold it two times. Remember to crease it really good. And then fold it a third time. Oh, Miss Gushner, this is a teeny tiny little snowflake. It is a teeny tiny little snowflake, my friends. However, it still functions the same way. One fold, three folds, and the outside where we just cut it. Now, I'm going to use my bigger scissors because they are sharper. And I don't want my snowflake to go dancing around on me while I'm trying to cut. But I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do different kinds of triangles. Some can be tall and skinny. Some can be short and fat. Variety is really important in your artwork. When you do everything the same, it becomes repetition, which is a pattern. But when we, and that's okay, that's all right. But if we're doing stuff like this, we might want a variety of shapes. That means a bunch of different kinds. That is also a principle of design. Ah, ooh, I almost cut that point off. Oh, I almost cut that off. It's so tiny. It's so tiny. Look how close I was. I might have actually cut through that. 
<laughs> I'm going to make a wider triangle. Now remember, all these pieces, you're going to have to pick these up. Mom and Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, whoever, is not going to be cleaning up your mess. So keep it on the table until you're done and then shoosh it into your hand and toss it in the garbage. Do not make a mess. Ooh, there we go. All right, so there it is. Look, get out of there. So there's the one fold, there's the three, here's the flat side that opens up into the square. I'll even, I'll even open it up for you so you can see. Look, oh my gosh, how tiny. And when I open it up, it's still square. It's awesome, but it's still square. So I'm gonna fold it back up and very carefully, look, you can see where I messed up. Very carefully, I'm gonna put it back together. And this is the side I need to cut on, right? So I'm gonna take out, like I did on the bigger one, I'm gonna take out a bigger shape like that. So it's not straight anymore. And when I open it, look, now it's got, it dips in and back out again. Skadoosh. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Pow! Now this one's not attached right there. Is it totally ruined? No, it still sits in there, it's fine. <laughs> Look how cool that is! So, we have two snowflakes. We have learned a couple of math words like symmetry, correct? And triangles with shapes. Ah! I just popped another side out. Oh my goodness. I'm being too rough with my snowflakes. So, uh, radial symmetry comes out from the middle. Symmetry just means it's the same on one side as it is on the other. It's like a mirror image. When you fold it, it's the same, okay? So snowflakes are going to be using symmetry, and when they're done being cut, they look like this. But when we open it, see how it rolls itself around? Awesome. Okay, now don't forget to clean up your mess. Do not leave this stuff on the floor. They'll take away your scissors, they'll take away your paper, and then you'll be going, I have nothing to do. Don't do that, clean up after yourself. Take all that, scoop it off into your hand, and put it in the garbage can like you would do if you were in the art room. Check your floor to make sure you didn't leave a mess. And if you did, goodness sakes, Angel K, get a broom and sweep it up. Make sure that your little brothers and sisters don't get a hold of your scissors. Put them up where they need to go. And hang up some snowflakes. The snow was pretty that we had. All right, my friends. I love you. See you later. Bye.